What's going on YouTube? It's your boy OGT Main, and today we got the vegan TikToker who's worse than the vegan teacher. Now I did a video on her and all that. Y'all want the link to that? I'll probably put it in the video somewhere. If not, I'll put it at the end of the video with the, you know, the vegan teacher. Yeah, but uh, anyways. Yeah, so uh, if she's worse than that vegan teacher who was talking about children, comparing children eating eating um, meat, like meat products and meat food to SMD, yeah, that, if she's worse than that, then I can only imagine. But anyways, make sure you like, come subscribe on the road to 10K at 2,300 subscribers. I will be, um, I will be doing long vlogs at 5k i will um start doing giveaways no cap but anyways let's get started with the video the boy sunny v2 dropped this a day ago and without him saying let's get started Yiddy. vegan booty is often called the vegan teacher's daughter she thinks walking your dog is animal abuse has been on the news for calling horses slaves and believes it what Okay, fighting butchers, service workers, and even children at their birthday party. Oh no, we gotta pack you up already. It's already 15 vi seconds into the video, and you doing stuff like that? Shot it. No, 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 no. That is. She, that is hell no. The government has banned her from living in her hometown and her first viral video will start to show you why. The event scene behind her is the Million Paws Walk, where families meet to walk their dogs together and help raise funds for animals in need. Well, Vegan Booty called the event The most violent thing that you could ever participate in. Protesting that every animal should be treated the way that dogs are. Why would you love one but pay for the suffering and abuse of other animals. Pigs are in fact more intelligent than dogs. Hypocritically, however, Vegan Booty owned a dog herself, which she tied to a leash and used it to pull her while she skated. It's pretty funny how you are protesting, yet you have a dog pulling you. Pretty hypocritical, and the hypocrisy didn't stop there. Because Vegan Booty then showed up at a charity football match, disrupting 35,000 spectators because she thought her cause was way more important. In a satisfying turn of events, she was fined $1,800 for the stunt, yet this wasn't too expensive for the exposure it provided. Would you do it all again? Yes. 100%. However, at around the same time, Isaac Butterfield was going viral for his anti-vegan videos featuring Tash in the worst vegans on TikTok. Why is your name Vegan Booty when you're running around with that? Change your name to Vegan Pancake Ass and let us all get on with our lives. This <laughs> Trying to name the VK vegan pancake <laughs> ah, No, I'm not gonna lie. This nigga this nigga is funny for that. Let's listen to it again. Booty when you run around with that, change your name to vegan pancake ass and let us all get on with our lives. This gave Tash a chance to respond, although she was met with a brutal dislike ratio as Isaac's audience offered their very first downvote. He'd therefore slam vegan booty again. Meat's amazing, it's delicious, and guess what, bitch? I'm gonna have a big dirty steak for dinner. I hope you enjoy your broccoli, you tiny little child. Yet with comments such as who else came from Isaac's channel, this was only helping vegan booty grow. She'd use her newly found fame to launch a vegan clothing company, spoofing the anti-social social club to instead read anti-animal cruelty club. Well, Isaac then launched his own anti-vegan social club, leading vegan booty to call in heavy reinforcements. She'd discuss is Isaac Butterfield's anti-vegan club responsible for this vegan phobia with no one other than that vegan teacher. He literally has shirts made that say anti-vegan club. The pair became so close that they'd call each other family. Hi, sweetie. How are you? Hello. Hey, mom. How are you going? However, it was obvious vegan booty was the crazier of the two. She began infiltrating supermarkets wearing an animal onesie before... St why? Why? I just want to know why. Why? Why? I already seen it from the top. Why? Why? 
Why? I know damn well it ain't never been that serious. Why? Why? In the milk section, dissuading shoppers from their purchase. For obvious reasons, staff weren't too happy about this, and even after being ejected, she still yelled outside the store. Her babies are taken away from her straight after birth, and her son will own her. As a result, Tash was permanently banned from Australia's two main supermarkets. Yet this didn't stop her protests, as vegan booty would only get worse. She'd show up at McDonald's in a much more detailed costume, being kicked out not by staff, but instead this time police. Hilariously, this guy began his own protest, countering her with a legendary sign. In vegan booty's next stunt, she walked into KFC and poured orange paint everywhere while blasting dying animals noises for over 15 minutes. Bitch, what? Why? Why? You know, my mom told me this, and I'm gonna tell this bitch this. And while we at, hold up, does she have a tag? Because I am going to. Let me, let me see. Hold up. I'm not going to read. She got a vegan booty tan. Hell no. But anyways. That, nah. I'm not going to report this. As a matter of fact, thank you, my brother. What I am going to do is say this. If you ain't got nothing positive to put out into the world. And if you got an opinion like this. If you if you see some if you let me that's not what you said. Let me let me say what don't deal with don't deal put yourself in other drama that doesn't attain to you. And you know what? I shouldn't be reacting to this. And mom, I thank you for that. But I gotta react to this and I shouldn't say what I'm about to say, but I love me some fried chicken. I love me some pork chop. Even though I need to stop eating pork, which I am going to stop doing. I love me some turkey. I love me some motherfucking KFC. I love me some motherfucking McDonald's and all the places that serve ground. Now, is it, is it, is it good to be eating all the processed meat and all meat to get? No. But that's just the way of the animal kingdom. That's the way of life. If you don't like it, you can protest about it, but not to this extent. Really? For 15 minutes? I would have socked you in your mother... Because why are you trying to stop me from getting my full food? Why? Oh, my, my $5 Happy Meal? Wait a minute, why? Oh, my, my, my kids chicken nights. You're wildin'. You need to be stopped. Yes. And my voice started... <clears throat> My voice started cracking just because of that. Like, why? Nigga, why? Not gonna lie, but you're incredibly selfish to the people that work at that place. All they're trying to do is do their job. I feel so sorry for the workers, while even other vegans called vegan booty out. She is giving veganism a bad name. People wrote about Tasha's public stunts. Instead of promoting vegans, you kind of just embarrass them, and nothing showed this better than her children's party meltdown. These two horses were clearly very well looked after, and were waiting outside a family festival so kids could take a picture. Well, of course, vegan booty somehow thought it was abuse. I just want to know who the slave owner is. Okay, thank you. Disgusting. This is animal abuse. Oh, oh, oh. How disgusting you are, animal animal abuse. Abuse. <laughs> What ass? <laughs> That's a neat fact. What ass? <laughs> She tried and failed to make any decent points. If you were in that position, would you be happy? Yes. Although vegan booty wasn't finished there. She'd then go into the festival to find the horses again, disrupting all photos by making a public announcement. These innocent things are no different to our beloved dogs and cats. 
They look like they're under so much stress. This awesome dad then quickly stopped their antics. My father's looking at me. This is a group hug. Yeah. I'm not um, taking photos. No, I just keep walking that way then. Keep walking that way. And thankfully, police were there to intervene. After posting her video to TikTok, Tash again made national news in which they'd interview the horse's owner. Meg Freeman owns the pony business. She says she's being bombarded with abuse by vegan protesters. Meg Freeman wants her charged. They're like terrorists. They're not going to go away. Well, only one week later, Vegan Booty announced, I'll be going to court on the 13th of May as I received a summons for a restraining order from the owner of ponies for all occasions. Those who dislike me are triggered because I've made them realize that they're animal abusers. What I'm going through right now isn't a loss. It only means we're winning. I'm always a non-violent protester and I never harass anyone. I don't even think the vegan teacher is this crazy. This girl is making vegan teacher seem like an angel. Oh God. So I first discovered... Because what? Now, what being a teacher said was wow, but right here, she taking it to a whole nother level. Well, uh, at least the vegan said. teacher didn't have her own number plates, as this made vegan booty foolishly recognizable. Meat and cheese smeared across her family's car. Vegan activist Tash Peterson says this cruel joke crosses the line. People recognized her car, then threw meat bones on her driveway, yet trolls weren't the only people who showed up at her house. I've woken up once again to the police knocking at my door so I've been issued with another barring notice controversial vegan activist is banned from every pub in her state after becoming notorious for wild stunts where she screams at innocent families anything that sells alcohol I'm not allowed into a penalty of ten thousand dollars applies if I break this barring notice the ban had come after another disgusting protest Yet Vegan Booty was still convinced that she'd done nothing wrong. I don't really have a right to freedom of speech here in Australia. It's honestly pretty corrupt, if you ask me. Her freedom of speech is just going to a restaurant and screaming like a lunatic about murder. There is a difference between speech and screaming. Your freedom of speech, our freedom to eat meat. Goodbye. She'd therefore leave Perth and spend a month protesting in Melbourne. But when she tried to fly back home, the government said she couldn't return. The Australian police have banned me from entering into my own city. If I choose to fly home, I could face a one-year imprisonment. Her application was rejected based on her statements made in public, and after eventually having the rejection overturned, you will not believe how awful she became. She'd go back to harassing the innocent pony business before trying to ruin the life of a hard-working chef. John Mountain owns Fire Restaurant in Northern Perth, where on one unassuming night, a diner made a complaint about the lack of vegan options on the menu and was charged $32 for vegetables. Well, rather than bending the knee, John instead stated it is not a vegan restaurant. And if customers want vegan options, they should go elsewhere, announcing on their Facebook page, sadly all vegans are now banned from fire for mental health reasons. We thank you for your understanding. All vegans are banned. End of. No more. Never again. God help them. Everybody loved the chef's bold move. Well, except for one person known as Vegan Booty. <laughs> She showed up at the restaurant not just once but twice, blasting dying animal noises even after being ejected. Having disrupted his business multiple times, the chef understandably lost it, yet still took responsibility for the damage Tash had done. And I'm sorry to say, Layla, I lost my cool, and I lost my cool because now it's really disrupting my business. And I could see the look on my customers' faces, my staff, they were all a little scared and a bit nervous, and I just, I stormed out. Sadly for Vegan Boo, however, her activism exploded the restaurant's popularity. So far as my business is concerned, I've trebled my income. I'm now, in her words, having to murder more animals because of their actions. Unfortunately, there was a bit of a trade-off. I lost um, my partner because of this. I thought I was going to marry this woman and she... That's fuck. You made him lose his wife over this? Crazy.
Sonny V2, thank you for this. Thank you for this video, but what? You made this man lose his what? I'm I'm sorry. He tripled the income, but he lost someone he said he was gonna marry, love to the end. I cry too. I crash out. My bitch is wet because of you. Oh, 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 you just made my bitch leave me. No words can understand why I'm so heartbroken. Cause she's gone now. She's gone. Gone somewhere else. She's gone, she's gone, she's gone. <clears throat> on some real on some real stuff, that that is fucked up. Like couldn't handle the amount of attention. She's a very private person. Yet this wasn't the only marriage that Tasha's TikToks ruined. Her next target was, get this, the Bicton Veterinary Clinic. A business literally designed to help unwell animals and vegan booty lost it over budgies out the front. You're the type of vets that eat your own patients, are you? Ah, uh, yeah, I do eat meat, so, but I don't eat dogs and I don't eat cats and I don't appreciate you pushing your agenda yeah. on my personal... I don't appreciate you enslaving animals. I have a dog in a cage out the back at the moment receiving treatment. Am I yes. enslaving it? Although it seems for the first time ever, vegan booty is actually facing consequences. Defamation action against Miss Tash Peterson. 17,700 raised. The vet was announcing we are launching a civil action in the Supreme Court of Western Australia, which has conveniently been running over the last two months. The trial has revealed that vegan booty hasn't only falsified her taxable income, but she's also been able to ruin another marriage. This might explain why Fi is also suing Tash. This is gonna teach her a lesson. If she's fined that amount of money, she's gonna think twice. And while she's always stated, I actually measure my own success by the amount of haters and criticism that I have. It seems penalty after penalty is finally taking its toll. Her public nuisance stunts are becoming far less frequent, as most of her content now focuses on street interviews. Do you have a moral justification for animal abuse? Yummy. <laughs> Vegan booty will likely never change, but maybe she's reached a decent middle ground that's respectful, not just... Thank you. Thank you, Zony That That really just... Wow. Man, lost his wife because of that, but... Let me know what y'all think about it in the comments on the road to 10k. Make sure you like and subscribe at 2300. I will be doing long stream um, vlogs. Not streams. Till I get my game back, yeah. That's crazy. Man, lost his wife because he crazy that she disrupts two events that were supporting animals. She she wants to protect exactly. She probably caused more stress to two horses than the owners ever would. Facts, facts. The fact she thinks that yeah, an animal abuser is gonna change people's perspective is just stupid. Mm-hmm. Getting banned from your own hometown is wild. I'm not gonna lie, that is wild. Yo, even your own people don't want you back home. That's crazy. But anyways, here's your boy OGT Main signing out. Yeah, the reason why I sing a lot of my videos is because hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna drop a bomb on y'all before I get to editing. The reason why I sing in most of my videos is because one day when y'all come back to this, y'all can see these clips. Then y'all can turn into a thing and also because i seen because sometimes i have anxiety and i will let it build up and to not let it build up i'll sing but anyways this is boy ogt main signing out yeah dig.